So here's my vegetarian starter. This is a asparagus terrine, lovely in-season asparagus there. We've set that in a light vegetable nage, uh, just really, really nice and delicate, so be careful when you lift that up. And then we've got a little egg here, which has just been pan aid and some panko breadcrumbs. That's gonna go in the oven now for six to eight minutes. And then when we kind of come back, I'm gonna put that together with the asparagus terrine, truffle mayonnaise, and a lovely little truffle dressing. So back in six to eight minutes. So my egg has just come out of the oven. That's been in there for about six minutes. It's Really, really carefully take that out because it's nice and delicate inside. And I've got a little serrated knife here ready to cut that. Your asparagus terrine, let's take that and put that just on one side. See I'm using a nice little spatula. Take the cling film off, we just send that with it just to help it stay together. So take the cling film off, there we go. Then we're gonna put a little bit of rapeseed oil on the top. This helps get that lovely shine. And just use the back of a spoon just to rub that in. Then you get a really, really nice shine right away over all of the asparagus. There we go. And then a little bit of molten salt. We don't season it too much when we make it because otherwise it draws all of the moisture out of the asparagus. So just adding that little bit of mold in the last second is really, really nice. And then take your little backpack bag of truffle mayonnaise, cut off the end, serrated knife, you can put this on just as you, as you like, hole on the plate, or you can do like this and just take a little V out of the top of the egg, like so, but just use a serrated knife to do that because then you can kind of cut in like so, go back on the other side, make sure it's fully released and then just lift that out nice and careful, I'm going to keep that piece, a little bit of seasoning in the egg, and we'll put that on the side, look at that, looking really nice, lovely soft yolk, take your mayonnaise, squeeze it from one end, and then just pipe that, there you go. And finally, that dressing, truffle dressing, give it a nice little stir and just all the way around, a little bit on the terrine, like so. You can come back if you like and you can put that little bit of egg which you cut off on the top. There we go. Wonderful little delicate starter celebrating the asparagus in season now. We've got a nice little vegetarian main course for you now. We've got our twice baked cheese souffle, really, really popular with UV Chef. It rises lovely, really, really nice main course. This time we're serving it with a little fricassee of vegetables. So here you've got a little sele a selection of peas, radishes, some broccoli in there, carrots. Keep the lid on there, just loosely, and then it's gonna help steam it just as it rebakes. And then you've got your souffle here, take the lid off of that because you want that to color up as it rises. So both of them are gonna go in the oven now for about 10 to 12 minutes. Let's just get them going through. There we go. And then when we're going to come back, I've got, look at that, wild garlic oil, really, really nice. And then here, we've got our wild garlic fricassee sauce. So just cut off the edge of that and get that going into your pan. You can always finish down with a touch of water if needed. See how it goes when you're heating it up. And then when we're going to come back, I'm gonna have that nice and hot. I'm gonna have your oil ready to go and I'm gonna have a bowl hot ready to go because the soup needs to go quickly to the table. So back in about 10 minutes. So there's my bowl, all heated up now. Vegetables are all hot and I've got my little fricassee sauce heated. You wanna get all this on the plate before you take the soup out of the oven. So let's get some carrots there. I wanna build a little base to sit the soup on. So broccoli, we've charred that few, really nice smoky flavour. And you've got some radishes in there. So get all that garnish around. Some little naves, they've got a little bitter taste to them. And finish off that broccoli and lastly those peas. Work as quick as you can now. You want everything to be nice and hot when you serve it up. There we go. And then the sauce. 
this is a lovely little wild garlic fricassee. I want a good bit in there, but I'm gonna just spoon it around carefully so I can still see everything. As I said, we've got our nice little wild garlic oil. So, almost done with that. Let's just give a plate a little wobble just to make sure it's all nicely divided. Our wild garlic oil cuts off the edge and then just want to pour that around. You see how you get those lovely little dots in the sauce. There we go. Spatula at the ready. Let's grab our souffle. That she comes straight over. Then just get that in there like so. Loosen it off. Then you'll see we've got a little bit of paper that we've just put under there to help take it out of the oven view. Get that under there on the top and straight to the table whilst it's all nice and risen. Hope you enjoy it. So here's my pina colada dessert here. We've got a lovely coconut parfait, some desiccated coconut around the outside, and it's got a really nice pineapple centre. That needs to be out of the fridge freezer at least 15, 20 minutes before you're going to serve it, so it's nice and soft in the centre. Get a little uh, ring and just then get your pineapple salad and build that around the outside. You don't have to do this, but it really does add to that presentation, make it look really nice. So I'll keep building that all the way around. Like so. And then we're gonna have our pineapple gel, just to finish this off. This pineapple's just been compressed with a bit of the uh, mermaid spice rum. Uh, from the Mermaid Distillery here on the Isle of Wight. So, final bit of pineapple going on there, like so. And then we'll just carefully lift that ring off. Pop your parfait just in the centre. And then get your pineapple gel and just pipe some of that all the way around. So you everywhere you look, this is pineapple, rum, coconut. Really nice. And then finally, we've got these lovely little coconut crisps that we're just gonna put on the top, empty them out of the board if you need. And just build those up carefully on the top. Makes the walk to the table a little bit more interesting. Like so. There we go. And that is my pina colada dessert, lovely little coconut parfait with crispy coconut to finish.